Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's an incredible claim by scientists. It didn't come from any two-bit organization. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And what they're saying is there's probably at least, probably a trillion, one trillion different Um, mic microbes living on this planet. Which means that 99.99% .99 of all life forms are not yet to be discovered. Now, according to a study published in Journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the present estimate of the total number of species living on Earth is much larger than previous estimates due to in addition to microbial species like single-celled organisms such as bacteria and archaea. I look archaea up, it's, they're in a category all by themselves, they're a type of bacteria. Uh, until recently, we've lacked tools to truly estimate the number of microbial species in the natural environment. So, J.T. Lennon... Associate Professor at IU Bloomington College of Arts and Sciences, Department of Bio Biology, and co author of studies, said in a statement. For the study, researchers from Indiana University combined microbial, plant, and animal community data sets from government, uh, academic, and citizen science sources. The result is considered to be the largest compilation of. Is kind of representing over 5.6 million microscopic and non microscopic species from 35,000 locations all over the world's oceans and continents, including except Antarctica. So they're not even uh, putting Antarctica into this one. Researchers also discovered the scaling law, which accurately predicts species for plant and animal communities can also be applied to microbes, making it easier for researchers to safely predict the number, total number of microbe species on the planet. Until now, we have not known whether aspects of biodiversity scale with something as simple as Abundance of Organisms, said Kenneth J. Losey, a postdoctoral fellow at IU Bloomington College of Arts and Sciences, Department of Biology and co-author of the study. As it turns out, the relationships are not s s simple but powerful, resulting in an estimate of upwards of one trillion species. Now, I got something to say about this, because we're told that life on Earth evolved, are we not? Now, we'll take a look at the wiki on evolution from when they said it started. And it says 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago. All right. So if I, let's just round that up to uh, 4 billion for easy calculations. How many species, how often would a species have to evolve? in order to meet, meet this one trillion category, uh, one trillion organisms. How often do you think? 
this is just microbes. This isn't anything more complex. And they're not even counting viruses. Or, uh, prion life and that kind of thing. So how often do you think that would have to happen? Well, I did the numbers. And... I ran the numbers from my calculator, and this is what I came up with. You'd have to have 1.46, that's using the 4 billion number, 1.46 uh, microbes evolve per day. Not per year, not per decade or anything. 1.46 per day would have to evolve. Now, we're told that uh, evolution is a very slow process. It happens over many millions of years. But just do the math. You have a trillion different life forms, microbe, just microbe life on the planet. That's not even counting uh, multicellular creatures like us and your pet dog and so forth. So, just do the math. Evolution would have to have gone along at such an unbelievable pace. Uh, <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, we were put on this planet by somebody. I mean, come on. You know, use a little common sense. That uh, ancestor would have had to... And this is just talking about new species being put on the planet, but that ancestor would have had to have really been uh, multiplying real fast. 1.46 species a day. Approximately. These people are all wet. There is no unguided evolution, folks. This is a ridiculous, absurd claim. Somebody put us on this planet. No, I'm not a 6,000 year... I'm an agnostic. I, uh, I'm not a 6,000 year person. I don't believe that... We came into being 6,000 years ago. That's not the point. Well, somebody intervened on this planet. They put a lot of life on it. Their claims just don't add up to common sense. The claims of evolution. Well, that's your thought to pander, uh, ponder. Do the math for yourself. If you don't believe me, all I did was I broke out the calculator and ran the numbers. This is Artifacts of Mars. Hoping that some of you will get some common sense. If you believe in evolution, tell the evolutionists to go uh, stick their heads on the barrel of shaving cream. I'm Artifacts of Mars. <laughs>